Hi, this is Piotr Walczyszyn. Uh, I'm Adobe Evangelist. Uh, so this is the third video tutorial from the uh, HTML5 for App Developers series. In this episode, we will cover actually debugging using Eclipse. This is not really well, very well known feature of Eclipse, but it, it's there, you can use it. It has some glitches here and there, but well, it's worth giving a try. All right, so uh, I'll use my Eclipse installation from the previous episode. So I already have it here in downloads. So please go ahead and launch your Eclipse. Uh, second thing, you can start uh, your browser and look for a project called uh, Chrome DevTools on Google Code. And the exact address is code google.com uh, slash p slash chrome dev tools. Uh, so look for this one and here you have a link to Eclipse debugger and the link how to install will help us and just uh, from here we have to copy uh, this URL to the update site with the uh, Eclipse plugins. So copy link address in my case, go ahead to your Eclipse, help install new software, uh, paste that URL add that uh, update site so let's call it chrome dev tools okay now uh, what we really need is just this first uh, option here it's a set of plugins that will enable debugging in eclipse so select this one you can uncheck contact all update sites it will take much faster actually to download and install your uh, plugins go next next accept the license finish okay so it will take a few seconds to download okay when it's downloaded you can press ok to install and restart after installing okay so when we have it uh, installed restarted now we can start configuring our debugger so uh, let's go uh, first of all what we have to do we have to launch a chrome browser because the debugger works with chrome uh, with a special parameter that will enable it will open a port uh, to uh, to enable the communication between eclipse and chrome so just i'll go and close my uh, browser here i'll open the terminal where i have the command line uh, over there, there we go. So uh, the way to launch is just you have to find the executable with uh, Google Chrome or Chromium and pass a parameter called a remote shell, shell, uh, shell port and the default one is uh, 9222. All right, go ahead and launch that. So it will start the browser, here we go. Now if I go back to Eclipse, I can, what I can do, I can uh, already run my app. So this is the app from the previous um, tutorial. And what I need here is just copy that URL. This is the URL to my application. And we'll need that. Now go back to Eclipse, go to a debug configurations. And you will see a target here, Chromium JavaScript, which we can configure. So double click here and we'll create new, let's call, uh, let's say hello world debug here. Uh, so the defaults with the 9222 port, which we launch our Chrome uh, with the parameter. Now set exact match here. This is important to make it work properly. Go back to source and add new source which will be javascript source name mapper so this is a special source that will map uh, our javascript uh, code that is uh, launching the browser with a javascript code actually uh, on our um, hard drive so let's select this one okay now we have to paste that url of our app and also add scripts so it will map actually to uh, the URL where we have uh, our JavaScripts. And in the type of the target, uh, here we have to select workspace folder and configure it to point to our folder with scripts. Uh, and 
we can also select a uh, search uh, uh, subfolders if we have more complex structure um, of our uh, source code here. All right, press OK, OK, apply, and we can now try to debug. Now, it asks us uh, which tab uh, in Chrome we want to debug, so we want to select the tab where our application is running, press OK. Now, uh, one last thing we, before we start putting breakpoints in our source code. Go to Run, Breakpoint Types. Oh, so for, first of all, go ahead and open your JavaScript somewhere so it will show up some more options. Run, Breakpoint Types and change the default breakpoint type to Chrome V8 breakpoint. So whenever we set a breakpoint, there will be a special type that can be handled by uh, Chrome and Eclipse. All right, so once we select that, we, can, we are ready to start setting the breakpoint. So just double click on the sidebar here, it will set a breakpoint over there. Now, if I switch back to Chrome, I can to make sure I will refresh. I tap hello world and you can see it switches back to Eclipse and it asks us if we want to switch also the perspective to a debug uh, perspective. Uh, yeah, we can even set that we want to remember this decision, yes. So it will uh, launch it in a special perspective which we can, oh, and it asks us which uh, script actually we want to use. Uh, let's say we want to use the JS script here, this one, and there it is. So. Uh, alert hello world and we can of course introspect here so we can see some uh, of the verbals it takes a little bit of a, a few seconds to communicate i think I, if i there we go you can see all the global verbals in, of this uh, as well as global like that it takes it, there is a little bit of a delay but once it refreshes it gives you access so you can introspect the verbals as well as you can do that with your source code. So if I continue, of course you can now use a debugger like you would use it with Java, with with uh, Flash Builder, with Flex even. So F F6 to go and uh, go next, uh, F5 go into and so on. Now if we go and let's try to add a local verbal, um, let's call it hello text. Uh, and let's call it of course hello world. And let's let's use that hello text here. Now, in order to make it run uh, and debug and see that new variable, you have to refresh uh, the content in your browser. I found out a hard way, unfortunately, that uh, sometimes it you have to refresh twice or three times actually to see the changes reflect in uh, in Eclipse. Let's see how it worked this time. So now if I launch it. Oh, I'm, I'm happy, I'm lucky, uh, sorry. Oh, there we go, we have to fold that back. We're lucky uh, this time because uh, it actually worked. Uh, so it was enough to refresh just twice to make it uh, here. So this is a small glitch that I found out about. Uh, the solution, but as you can see, you can introspect your local variables as well. All right, so uh, thank you very much, and I hope this was uh, helpful, and you can start uh, debugging your uh, JavaScript uh, applications directly from Eclipse. Of course, there are uh, uh, other great tools like Web Inspector or Firebug, but if you prefer this one, it's the way to go. All right, thanks, and bye.